Hello everyone! So today we're going to talk about Warner compressor. So I'm going to tell you what's the best compressor you have to choose. I will tell you many interesting things about compressor and basis on my experience, on my big experience. So we have three types of compressors. The first one is the most, the cheapest. This compressor is piston. So it's uh, made with piston and the piston works because of engine. We have compressors with direct driver or with direct drive or with element, elemental transmission. So, two types of piston compressor. Compressor with the direct drive is more effective, more power, and a little bit better. They are mostly used in, in places where cars may or in twin, and you can take this if you have your own house or your own garage. One more type of compressor is screw compressor. These compressors are very, very big. They used at enterprises, at factories. And the third, com the third type of compressor are oil free. So I use this one. This is more more better just better in using at home at your own flat you know it's not so so noisy as the previous are and this compressor doesn't need any oil it is oil free because in other compressors you need to change oil as you do it in a car and this one doesn't need it at all so just it's a little bit more convenient in using and it's a little bit not so noisy it's excellent to use in apartment so let's look at this compressor I bought a compressor for me with the, the smallest receiver. It has 9 liters. Oh no, this is too much for me. 9 liters is quite enough for me. I don't need more, you know. So, with this receiver I can make two parts of both. So, even if we switched, it doesn't make any loud noise. It's a little bit more convenient in using an apartment because I don't have my own carriage and I had to choose a compressor with not so loud and not so noisy. So, in air, oh, we had in our shop this one was was just less noisy and i bought this one it's very compact and it contains quite much air and it doesn't make any inconvenience to my neighbors so what you need to put attention at compressors when you buy it so when you buy it from the factory, we have only manometer. So only manometer or also couch. And this one we had from factory. So when the pressure fell less than 60, it starts starts working from it starts plugging in you know so this pressure was too big 
for my syringe and I needed to do something so I bought some one interesting thing and this one this device it's a really convenient regulator so this is very very compact we can put it here very and very easily so just that's all this regulator with this regulator i can regulate the pressure i need as you can see on compressor the manometer shows eight atmospheres and on this regulator we only get three atmospheres so as much as we need For switching the end of the compressor to our to our syringe, we need this hose. We are putting it here, in th and then we can put it to our syringe. But firstly, I I switch it gun or pistol that are used in um, tire services and with help of this regulator we can have as pressure as we need so you can see the pressure up up until the level that was regulated it carries me it guarantees me uniform output. So I up. I have up all pressure, and then I can make it down, turn it up, then I turn it down. So that's really convenient. So now i'm gonna to make the pressure to be very and very no i'm gonna to clump the pressure just to check it's the noise of it for you to listen how it is so now i'm putting it off you can see that pressure has fell on the sixth atmosphere and you can listen to it now the compressor switched on so that's done even the minute hasn't finished and you can see it's not very loudly it's very very good in using it in your apartment of course if you have your own house or garage you can use um, you can use piston compressors and one more difference is that these compressors as i have are a little bit more expensive than the other one also, we have Madison compressors, but they are more expensive. But their head, kind of head, is the same. Just in Madison, we use the same head. So, for this construction not to interfere to me at work, I just can switch it off. And it takes minimal place. We can put it to somewhere. So you choose a compressor unit. It depends on your possibility of of place you're going to keep it in, also a place you're living in. Of course, it's better to buy a compressor with a big receiver. 
you make the pressure there one time and you don't need it anymore so last year i took compressor from a friend of mine he has just big very big just very big receiver and i put the pressure when i was at work put it until the end and after work i could to make boils or boils for all the day just realized i had enough pressure for doing that so of course it's quite noisy but i did it work and none of my neighbors were just were getting inconvenience or something and so yes it's one very interesting very interesting instance of the situation just you can you can make the pressure it works so you choose your your own compressor i hope this video war was very useful for you so don't forget to nike don't forget to subscribe on our channel and it's gonna be great for you you can share this video of course share it to your friends on your site and check our forum check our social media so follow our channel good luck goodbye